This house is me. I have been living in it for such a long time that I can't even imagine my life without it. It is my home, my safety, and my prison, and my fear. It is the uterus, the husband, the punishment, the gift. This house has eyes, ears, a forehead, a head, and it's breathing like a giant, sometimes strangling and sometimes life-giving. Sometimes, when I'm looking at it for a long time, it falls apart and its parts start floating around each other like clownfish and devilfish in an aquarium so they would finally make up a huge flower. A flower that has each flat for its leaf and every person living in it for a petal. Its tenants don't know if they are good or bad, murderers or innocent. They simply live from one day to the other. And in spite they have killed me, at least their cruelty, my soul, I love them all and forgive them because I know that the sorrow, the anger, the weakness, the helplessness, it is the immense lack of love that fills them is not their fault because they are all orphans and I can't do but love my children. This book is me, a never seen exciting, horrible, beautiful, and what is the most frightful and unbelievable, true story. Read me.